so um, obviously you can tell by the head of the video what um, it's going to be um, about and it's actually this is going to be like my cheeky little vlog on setting up for the protest so um, I'm just recording on my phone um, just because like I don't have like a vlog camera or anything like that but whatever I think the quality will be fine um, but yeah, no, it is 2.34 p.m. on the 26th of March 2021, so it's the day before our Melbourne um, fundraiser for the CDM, um, so that will be really cool. So I will probably make a couple of videos just to set up, um, like, to see what it's like so people can see all the work that goes into it. I just got the stock, so I'm just finishing my cup of tea. And yeah, so it's gonna be good. Um, hopefully it's a good turnout because there's a lot of stuff, so who knows, but um, stay tuned, okay? So um, probably the next video you'll see is like me moving crap in for the fundraiser. But yeah, see you soon. So hopefully there's like currently that footage going. So I don't know if you would have seen it now or if I've put it in afterwards, but but yeah, we're probably gonna show you, I'm gonna record what it looks like when everyone's getting ready and everything like that. And we are going to have a great night. So well, I should like have a look and I'll show you guys actually what it looks like at the front. There's Francis. So yeah, should be good, shall be good. Um, who knows if it's gonna, if we're gonna sell any tonight. I'd be, I'd be happy with five. I reckon we'll sell. Thank you so much for watching the footage up until this point, guys. I really do appreciate it. However, I really wanted to do my due diligence and just give you the heads up. The remaining part of this video will contain some imagery that most will find confronting. However, I really do implore that you stick around and watch the rest of the video as the whole purpose of this video is to compensate for the lack of media coverage that is occurring in Australia. So I just wanted to do my part and give you the heads up in case you might find it triggering or too confronting to continue watching the rest of the footage. I'm very saddened to be here, standing here, to talk about the atrocities that are still occurring in Myanmar. There are 320 people who have been ruthlessly murdered by the military junta, killed in cold blood, We are here to support the people of Myanmar, your friends and family members who are standing for democracy, standing for human rights, standing for their freedom, fighting for their lives. But the people in Myanmar, in Mandalay, in Yangon, the CDM and the townships and the villages, the courage that they demonstrate, the bravery, to stand before live bullets and the military and the tanks to fight for their freedom. That is an example to us. There is tragedy, so, many, so much tragedy that is occurring in Myanmar. A seven-year-old girl was shot in the arms of her father. They weren't even protesting. He was holding his daughter in his arms and they, the, the soldiers and the police came in and shot him, shot her and killed her. 
So many young people shot in the head, point blank, deliberately shot. The army is shooting to kill. The Tatmadaw is shooting to kill the innocent civilians. All of those people who have spilt their blood for their country, for their fellow citizens, for their freedom. This fight, this battle, is the battleground for democracy in this century. What happens in Myanmar is important for the whole world. This is the battle of this age. And it rages on the streets of Myanmar. The frontline battle between the rising power of authoritarian military regimes and democracy. Now last weekend, Australia was absent from a statement condemning the junta's violence against protesters that was co-signed by ambassadors from multiple, almost a dozen democracies. Why? This today is an opportunity for the Australian government to show strategic courage. This idea that it's realism or strategic realism to engage with the military regime because if we do not, China will fill the vacuum. That is strategic cowardice. I'm a member of the Federal Parliament of Australia. Australia is one of the world's oldest continuous successful democracies in the world. We must at least stand morally with these protesters. But more than that, there must be action by our government and our country. That is why I call in the Parliament of Australia for Australia's military cooperation with the Tatmadaw to be cancelled. I know what it is like to be worried about your family and your friends. I want the brave protesters in Myanmar and their families and all of you here tonight to know that the very least that I can do as a member of the Australian Parliament, as a representative in a democracy, the very least I can do is stand with them, speak for them and fight with them. For if we, the democratically elected members, will not stand up for democracy around the world, who will? I couldn't have said it better myself. And I quickly just want to round off this video by thanking Peter Khalil for bringing this idea to my attention that if we won't fight for democracy, who will?